Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Bex, I'm a personal trainer from England. My channel is all things fitness, golf and fun. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. There are loads of workouts for you to enjoy. Now today I'm bringing you a 10 minute glute medius burner. Like honestly, your bum is gonna be on fire. You're gonna need some resistance bands. So I'm using these ones from LVS Sport. The majority I'll be using the light resistance band. And for the final one, I'll be using my super heavy one <laughs> that you can barely stretch. Um, you're also gonna need somewhere to sit down. And we're gonna do 10 exercises for 45 seconds on and a 15 second recovery. Now, ordinarily, I would do this three times, so it would be a total of 30 minutes. But I'm gonna do this once through today and leave it up to you if you wanna repeat it once, if you wanna repeat it twice. So anyway, I hope you enjoy and let's get a crack in. Get ready. Right, get yourselves ready to go. We're going in five seconds and we're starting off with star jumps. So get that band around your ankles. Work. Off we go. So you want to really try and stretch that band as wide as you can. You'll notice when I'm doing my jump here that I'm not bringing my feet all the way back into the centre. Because if you do that, the band's going to drop to the floor. So you want to still keep a good amount of tension when you're bringing those feet in. Really, really good. Come on, how wide can you get those feet? Imagine you trying to snap that band. This is really going to get our heart rate up. 10 seconds left. Three. And rest. Okay, you're going to keep that band in the same position. We're going to do a band walk, which I've just demonstrated there. So again, you want to get as much tension on that band as you possibly can. Off you go. And you'll notice here when I'm bringing my foot back into the centre, that I'm not letting it touch the ground. I'm just hovering it ever so slightly and that's going to make it that little bit harder. Come on, let's get as many repetitions in as we can. Keep on stretching it. Now if you want, you can go into a slight squat position for this same movement. We've got 10 seconds left. And rest. Right, next we're gonna go onto our hands and knees. You need to move that band above your knees. And we're gonna do a fire hydrant on our right leg. So we're gonna keep our leg bent and lift our knee as high as we can. Off you go. So lifting that right knee, try and get it sort of level with your hips if you can. And I want you to imagine your favorite drink. So I'm gonna imagine a Malibu sunset. It's balancing on my back. You wanna keep your back so still that you're not gonna spill that drink. Okay, the only moving element here should be that right leg. When you get to the top, if you can squeeze that glute and hold it for a second before lowering it. Again, that'll make it a bit harder. Three. And rest. Now we're gonna repeat that same movement on our left side. You see how I'm looking a bit hot there? Right, going in five. Off you go. So like I said before, if you can pause for a second at the top and then lower it down nice and slow and controlled, that'll just place that glute under a bit more tension. Really, really well done. Come on, keep getting that knee as high as you possibly can. Really, really good. Come on, I'm nearly, nearly finished. We've got 10 seconds left. Go on, get at least three more in. Two. And rest. Right, now we're gonna lie on our right hand side. We're gonna do a clap. So keep the band where it is. You're gonna have your legs slightly bent. 
like I'm doing there. So your knees in front of your body, and we're going to lift that left leg. So as you can see, it should just be that left leg that is moving. So we're really trying to lift that knee as high as we possibly can. I want you to keep your core nice and tight, so suck that belly button in. Don't allow your hips and your back to rotate. Really, really good. Come on, keep getting it as high as you can. We've got 10 seconds left. You're doing amazing, come on. Two, and rest. Right, we're gonna stay lying on our right hand side. This time we're gonna keep our left leg nice and straight. And we're gonna lift it as high as we can. Off you go. Now for this one, you can put your left leg slightly behind your right leg. You see I've got my hand on sort of my hips, on my, on my glute. You should really, really feel it tightening and squeezing, okay? Keep your leg as straight as you can throughout. This one is a killer, especially when you've just done the clam on the same leg. Really good, come on. Right, we've got 10 seconds left. Ooh, yeah, my face tells me that I'm struggling. <laughs> Two and one. Right, excellent. And now we're gonna lie on our left-hand side. And we're gonna do that clam again. So have your legs slightly bent. This time it's your right leg that is lifting. Off you go. So try and get that right knee as high as you possibly can. doing absolutely amazing. Again, make sure you've got that core nice and tight. Slip the belly button in. You want to just isolate that right leg. Okay, so it's that right glute controlling the movement. Right, we have 10 seconds left. Three, and rest. <laughs> Looks like I'm dying there. Um, we're gonna keep our leg nice and straight this time. So our right leg is gonna be nice and straight. Again, have it slightly behind the bottom leg. Off you go. If you can, sort of pick a spot on the wall and try and get your foot beyond that spot each time. Well done. Whew, bum should be on fire now. Really, really good. Keep lifting it as high as you can. When you do lower that leg, it's important to do it nice and slow and control. Again, you want to keep that glute under as much tension as we can. Last 10. Right, excellent. You can get back onto your feet now. You're going to put the band around your ankles. So just lower it. We're going to do a monster walk. So we're going to move in a 45 degree angle with each foot. I'll show you. So there we go. So we're bringing the foot in. And we're walking forwards and backwards, okay? But you can see that I'm moving on that slight 45 degree angle. Really good. So going forwards and backwards. You want to really stretch that band on the diagonal this time. Really, really good. Right, we have 10 seconds left. Keep on stretching. Come on, you've got this. Three. And rest. Right, our last one's coming. So you can switch that band for a heavier resistance if you've got it. You're going to put it above those knees and you're going to take a seat. 
and we're gonna just <laughs> try and open those knees as wide as we can. Off you go. This is our last one. Ooh, this band was a really heavy resistance. Sit however is comfortable, but again, try and get that band as wide as you can. Now, if you can as well, to make it a bit harder, you can pause for a second at maximum extension. So when you've got those knees as wide as you can, hold them there for a second. Really, really good, come on. Nearly, nearly done. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. You are done. Awesome stuff, guys. Oh, oh my God. Oh. oh my God. Oh God, I need to sit down after that. Oh my God, guys. All I can say, if you've just done that for one set, you know, I really, really felt the burn after that one set. Oh, but my God, I have just done three. So it's taken us 30 minutes. And that was so, 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 so tough. Like, honestly, my bum, like, oh, it's really, really burning. Um, and I've actually worked up a pretty good sweat there. Like, honestly, my God, I've really, really pushed myself. So if you can complete that for three sets, you're going to get a sweat on. You are probably not going to be able to walk tomorrow, <laughs> but you're going to feel very, very proud of yourself. And you're going to start seeing that nice peachy bum. So thank you so much for watching. Like I said at the start, if you haven't already, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you in a video very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Right guys, I'm leaving you with my worst bits. This is two and a bit sets in when I thought I was gonna die. Whew, that grimace. On these ones, I could honestly barely lift my leg. Oh my God, look at that face. Yeah, I was pushing through that pain barrier, <laughs> believe me. Whoo! Yep, cover that face. Thank God that is over. Oh.